Hello, welcome to a INFJ ramble. So, tonight's topic is going to cover what INFJs look for in um, relationships or in people that they make time to um, spend time with. Okay, so I value my time immensely. I value my alone time immensely. So if I am taking time to spend time with you, um, there's several reasons why I would do that. Um, one, to fulfill my curiosity. I probably find you intriguing. I find I probably feel like you have something that you could offer me that might enhance me or grow me or help me to refine myself. Because I think we are, you know, we prioritize um, growth, you know, like we don't want to stay in one place we're constantly evolving and growing and changing you know so we appreciate people who can help push us in that direction um i also value people who are sincere and genuine um people who are not afraid of showing me who they really are um even if who they really are can be dark I'm not talking about people who complain, yeah. People who complain are just draining. I'm talking about people who are real, who can just sit down with you, um, be vulnerable, and, you know, you can share of each other, like, freely without any judgment or without any repercussions. Um, I definitely appreciate someone who can make me laugh and someone who can entertain me because I'm so like serious um and serious it's nice when somebody can lighten my mood or lighten my spirit because I can get I can be really intense I can be really intense I can be really extreme and it's nice to have somebody who can kind of snap me out of it and bring out the um, inner child, you know, that part of you that likes to have fun and just be like a child again. Um, I appreciate people who have my best interest in mind. Um, people who are willing to put in as much effort into the relationship as I do. People who are willing to meet me I'd like to say halfway, but it's better if they can meet me a hundred because I give a hundred. Um, so matching my effort and not calling it quits when things get difficult, you know, because in difficult situations, that is, you know, the challenge and the opportunity to grow, right? And you know, most people give up before they even pull through. And um, it's nice to meet someone who's willing to grow through things with you, you know, and not just call it quits and disappear when things get tough. Um, I appreciate people who have an interesting mind, um, beautiful heart, and who can connect with me on a soul level. I kind of covered some of these things in another video like what INFJs find attractive. I mean, this is applicable to like ev everything, you know, platonic friends. And the thing is like, if I meet people who cannot, I guess, meet these guidelines or standards that I have set, then I, I just kind of lose interest and just kind of like, don't spend time with you. I also like people who allow you to allow you to honor yourself. What do I mean by that? So, for instance, say 
I made plans with my friend to meet up next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. And say Tuesday comes up and I don't feel like meeting up. I like someone who I can call or text and say, hey, I, I'm not feeling well today. You know, I'm sorry. You know, I don't think I want to meet up. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, like, it's it's okay. Like, if you're not feeling good, you're not feeling good. Take care of yourself. Not someone who's going to make me feel guilty or use passive aggressiveness or, you know, like, because they can't be upfront with me or because they can't accept me as I am in the moment. They're going to play these child games and be like, you know, vindictive and stuff. I, I just don't have time for that. You know, I don't really have time to play games or be in dramatic relationships. You know what I mean? I like people who I can connect with on a really deep level because it's stimulating. You know what I mean? I like people who have a reciprocated interplay of dialogue it's not just one-sided where they're just chatting my ear off and then they're not even interested in who I am as a person you know what I mean because I take time to like really listen to you and it would be nice for you know for someone to listen back you know and then we can kind of exchange ideas and thoughts and just kind of have this like really nice like interplay you know what I mean um <clears throat> I like people who are aware I like to spend time with people who are more aware <laughs> um who kind of know like or they've explored themselves to an extent and they kind of know who they are, what they want, what they don't want, you know, and they're not just kind of like following the trend or following, you know, familial or society, societal um, constructs, you know, like they have a mind of their own and they can kind of like, what is that? make their own path and follow it, you know? Because to me, that's that's really intriguing, like, to meet people like that, who have that self-assurance and courage to just kind of, like, go on the um, beaten path or the unexplored cats and they're like willing to just kind of like do that <laughs> you know like so many things have been parroted or um how do I say duplicated replicated it's nice to find somebody who's original and fresh and if I can't find people like that um I probably won't really hang out with you. I get prematurely excited when I meet people that have some of these qualities or traits because I don't come across them often. So I get prematurely overexcited and then I set myself up for disappointment because the relationship doesn't last or they end up... I don't know, doing something that does not align with my standards. And then I just kind of leave. I just kind of, as, as soon as I appeared, is as soon as I leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so first and foremost, you have to peak curiosity in me. Um, oh, 